In this video, I'm going to show how Mongoose OS works with MQTT. Here I have Node MCU board connected to my computer. First, let's install Mongoose OS on it. Start your terminal and type MOS, press enter. Click next. Choose ESP8266 firmware. Click next. Now Mongoose OS is installed. Configure Wi-Fi, configure MQTT server settings. So we are connecting to broker HiveMQ.com, which is a public MQTT service. Click Next. And we are done. Start prototyping. Now open init.js. And let's switch to documentation. And click on MQTT. I start with publishing. So this is MQTT publish API. And this is an example. Copy it, switch to Mongoose.js and paste into init.js. Press save and reboot. This example installs button handler and on the button press, it publishes a, an MQTT message to topic my slash topic and the message is a JSON string with two keys, A and B. And the button is wired to pin zero, which on Node MCU is attached to the flash button. So basically, now when we press flash, we publish this message to our HiveMQ broker. Let's connect a different client to this broker and see that message. This is a web client, hivemq.com slash demos slash websocket client. Let's push it to another window, click connect, and now let's subscribe to my slash topic. My topic. Now let's press the button again, and we can see these messages appear. So this is MQTT publish. Let's do MQTT subscribe, switch to documentation again. This is a subscribe API, copy the example, and again, paste it into init.js. We don't need API mqtt.js again. So we are subscribing to my slash topic slash hash. Hash is a wildcard. So basically, uh, this handler will catch all messages which are sent to a topic with prefix my slash topic slash. And this handler prints the topic name and the message. So click on Save and Reboot. And now let's publish to my slash topic slash say one, two, three, four. Write some message like hello. Click on Publish. And we can see that message appears in the console log. This is it. If you like this video, click like. Thank you and see you later.